Hi friends, welcome again to another session of Minds Group Tech. Today we are here to demonstrate how to install Ubuntu Flavor of Linux on a VMware virtual machine. We will be using VMware Player for this. Uh, in my previous session I have uh, demonstrated how to install VMware Player and from where to get and all the prerequisites of a VMware Player. Today on my previous installation of VMware Player, I am gonna install Ubuntu. Let's start. So this is our VMware Player software. On the main screen, it is giving us, on the left hand side, it is showing us all the list of virtual machines we have. Right now is a fresh, fresh installation and we don't have any uh, virtual machines available and we are going to create a fresh virtual machine on this particular screen we are getting option to install the operating system after creating the virtual machine from a DVD which is uh, inserted into your uh, host computers DVD drive the second option it gives us to install it from ISO image we can go and select an ISO image if you have a source of ISO image and third option it gives us to install the operating system later once we have created the virtual machine I will go for a uh, third option because I want to demonstrate how to create a virtual machine and then install an operating system as general as simple as you do on a regular machine on the next screen it is asking us to opt for type of operating system we are going to install on this virtual machine uh, I'm going to select Linux because Ubuntu is in a flavor of uh, Linux and I have selected 64-bit because the source I have is a 64-bit Ubuntu on the next screen it is asking us to give us the location where the virtual machine will be stored I will select for F drive and we can choose a different name so that when you have so many machines installed on the system you can easily distinguish by name that which machine gives which kind of functionality or environment inside it uh, I'll give it a name demo and on the next screen it is asking us to size the disk uh, uh, this will be a virtual disk stored as a file on your main systems hard drive uh, and it will provide the sufficient storage space for the operating system in the virtual machine I have selected 40 GB you can go for any size for but for, uh, Ubuntu operating system base operating system 20 GB is more than sufficient and you can run sufficiently in 20 GB space this uh, another option over here is to create a single file for the virtual disk or you want to split the file into multiple files I will go for a single file for handling and managing easily. Our machine configuration is ready to review. I can go and see what all configuration it has created. It has given us a 1, one GB RAM. I will go and make it 2 GB, a single processor. On my system I have quad core processor so I can go up to a 4 core processor. Uh, I will give it two core and I will enable virtualization and I will remove floppy drive because and in the new systems we generally don't require for floppy drives um, C drive CD drive is auto detect I have set it auto detect so whatever machine is available uh, machine is having that drive will be selected automatically if this if your system is having multiple drives the drive which one which whichever is having a 
uh, a ROM, it will automatically pick up that thing. Or you can go for an ISO image, which we we are gonna use in the next step. So for now, let's see. Select physical drive or detect. And the network settings, you you can have an option of bridged, NAT, or host only, or a LAN segment. I'll I'll go for a host only because it's not required for this particular demo as of now. Mm, next is USB controller. It is present, and I can go for up to USB three because my host operating system is have uh, host hardware is having USB three. So, but I will remain with two sound automatically whatever is available on a uh, host is shared printer whatever is available on the host is shared and display automatically detected let's go and say finish so we have a virtual machine available here i'll go and edit the virtual machine and provide the iso image for ubuntu I've selected this version and update and now I'm going to start the virtual machine and here we go so we have the startup screen it is asking us to opt for language so English is our default install Ubuntu It is loading the operating system from installer from ISO file and the screen is ready in front of us so our next step is again it is asking us the language uh, English again continue uh, on this this screen you can see that there is a network connectivity over here which is saying that uh, network is enabled I don't want to have the network at this particular point of time so i'll go and disconnect it wired network disconnected you are now offline on the bottom you can see that uh, a yellow bar is popped up this tells us that to install vmware tools on the vmware machine these tools are basically drivers for the hardware which this virtual machine is providing to the operating system so we will remember it and we'll install once our operating system is installed so i'll go and say remind me later and continue with the installation it is asking us to erase the disk yeah we are safe to erase because we have a fresh new blank hard drive a virtual hard drive continue if you have multiple hard drives it will show up over here and you can select which particular hard drive you want to install uh, operating system I will select the hard drive and click install now during the installation it is asking us to locate I will select a location which is in India okay the Kol Kolkata location is available the next is the language I am going to pick US English your name name of the computer username password I don't want to make it login automatic continue
so we can see the installation is completed and it is asking us to restart the virtual machine for installation it is a pc but yeah for us it is a virtual machine restart now here we are we are ready to have a first look inside ubuntu inside a virtual machine Here is our operating system running under a virtual machine. You can see that the machine is not resizing itself to full screen. For that, what is missing is VMware tools. I will go and install VMware tools. It will go and mount a virtual CD into the drive. For VMware tools, we have to go to install, run this script in terminal. Just go and select default options. And it's done. So just restart the machine. And let us wait for machine to get restarted yep and login let's try to maximize the screen yes you have the screen maximize to full desktop size I can unpin the VMware player control power so guys that's I think that's easy pretty easy you can go and enjoy the Ubuntu operating system in a virtual machine environment for your research and testing and keep watching and wait for another session of Minds Group Tech